Hello, my name is David Izumo. I'm a principal engineer in technical marketing with Live Action, and I'm based out of Honolulu, Hawaii. In this video, we'll be talking about quality of service monitoring and configuration. Now, the challenge really is that QoS is very complex and error prone. Now, by using LiveNX, the results are performance issues are resolved. Use a simple to use GUI interface to generate CLI to optimize your QoS deployments, as well as ensure that those QoS deployments are successful and quick. So let's dive into LiveNX to really understand how LiveNX can help. So here's the LiveNX topology view. We just ran a voice and video flow path analysis, and we're able to identify for this particular voice call where the problems are. The first hop shows that everything is green, but downstream, those devices are showing up as red. Here's the QoS policy. On that first hop, this WAN shaping policy is showing up as orange, and that's because there's packet drops because of the quality of service policy. The result is that packet loss downstream. So to resolve this issue using quality of service, I'll go to the QoS tab at the top, and we'll zoom in to Gigabit Ethernet 01 on that 2921 router. Notice that the bottom portion of that circle is showing up as orange, and that's because of those QoS drops. Double click on that interface to get more information. Now here on the top portion is all the applications contending for bandwidth, including RTP or real-time protocol for voice, Citrix, BitTorrent, YouTube, as well as Office 365. And then we map those applications to this quality of service policy down below. And notice in particular that the voice class, as well as interactive video, are dropping packets. It's showing up as yellow or orange. Now, to resolve this issue, right-click, adjust the output QoS. We're reading in the running configuration of the device just to get our bearings on how QoS is set up. And there's the issue. The voice class only has 16 kilobits per second. It's probably a fat finger. So we'll set that to 128 kilobits. And the interactive video class will also set that to 512 kilobits per second. We're reserving about 90% of the bandwidth. I'll preview the CLI, and this is what we'll push down to the routers to make that change. Now it's not blindly pushing templates. We actually know exactly what's configured on the router. We're only going to make the changes that are necessary to solve this QoS issue. So we'll press close and save to device. So we're pushing those configs down to the router. Now let's see the results. So notice that the voice class is no longer dropping packets, nor is interactive video. So I hope this brief demonstration helps you see the value LiveNX brings in monitoring and configuring QoS to solve problems in your network. To try LiveNX yourself, go to www.liveaction.com download.